Hey guys, welcome to All Electronics. I'm Gregory, and today a quick tip when using oscilloscopes with very small signals. I'm doing some studies here about CMOS inverter gates as linear amplifiers. It's a very interesting kind of circuit that we can use to to make an inverter gate, a logic gate, uh, work as a linear amplifier. I was trying to um, to measure the gain, the transition frequency, the transconductance of this of the stage, the bandwidth, the gain bandwidth product, and here is the circuit. We're gonna see this in the next video. I will do. I will make a very very nice video about this. But let's see. I am exciting the 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 amplifier with, let me see here, where I can, with minus 45 dBm, so it's a very low signal, you can see here, the green signal has, let's see, it has 4 millivolts peak to peak, 4 millivolts peak to peak, very small signal, and the yellow trace is the output of the amplifier, and it has 300 millivolts, so we have a lot of gain here. This works. But, uh, what is the tip? So, you can see that the, the signals are, are very clean here on the scope, yeah? And it's very impressive to see a, a 4 millivolt peak to peak signal so clear here. This is because I'm using the acquisition mode in average mode. So, if we come here on acquire, on acquire in this agent, in the acquire menu, the acquisition mode of the scope is averaging. 128 average I am using here. So we can see that if I disable the average mode and um, let's go to normal mode, this is the signal that the scope is, is measuring. We can see a lot of noise here, yeah? It's almost impossible to see the signal and to measure uh, anything here. And if I turn on my LED lights, the noise will increase even more. Oh, where, where is the green trace? The noise is so big that the, the scope uh, lost the trigger. So let's turn it off. Yeah, the signal will be better. But even with my LED lights turned off, we have a lot of signal, uh, noise here, and it comes from the power supply. It's radio noise because it has, because you have a very uh, high bandwidth scope, and it, uh, this is a prototype. Uh, we have a lot of antennas here, some ground grounding loops, and so on. So what you can do is to turn on averaging mode. This is a very useful, useful uh, usage case of averaging, no, averaging mode, and we can see that the, the, if the noise is not correlated with the signal, it clears a lot the signal, and we have almost an, um, a perfect signal here to, to, to measure. Yeah, and this is not so easy. You need to take care because. Uh, uh, it's very easy to 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 lose the the trigger when using uh, averaging mode because the signal the the waveform you are seeing on this uh, screen of the scope is the average of a lot a lot of captures, so uh, uh, you you not see fast changes changes in the signal, and you can change the signal if I change the signal in the generator, uh, I can lose the trigger and the waveform will not be uh, uh, displayed correctly because we you make uh, averages of different signals in different locations because we are not with the trigger. So this is a very, it's, this is a caveat of this, this kind of, of measuring with average, but it can work here, it works very well. And let's see what happens if we lost the trigger here, if we lose the trigger. Oh, I am using a, a second chip here. To, to increase my trigger, uh, um, uh, uh, to, to decrease the, 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 chance, the chances of 
losing the, the trigger, I config, configure the trigger to AC mode. Yeah, this is a very nice tip. So the DC level of the signal will not uh, um, change the, the, the trigger level. So if you go to DC trigger and we change the trigger here, here's the trigger. Let's go out of the, the, the waveform. We can see that we, we do not get the waveform. And because we are, we are making errors of uncorrelated signals because the, the, the position is not always the same and, the, and the, the average goes to zero. So this can trick you for uh, some time. I, 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 I lost some time with this problem and I discovered, and I discovered this, this nice other trick here that you can use AC trigger and configure the trigger to a nice level and get constant triggering uh, with this kind of, of averaging mode. So, this is a nice uh, and quick tip for you. Two tips, the tip of using the average mode and the tip of using AC coupled trigger on digital scopes, yeah? So, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I, will do, I will be making a very nice video about CMOS amplifiers Give a thumbs up to the video, subscribe to see the next videos and see you next time.